Dozens of families living in a Newport News mobile home park have now relocated after they were forced out over the last several months. Now, as we've reported over the weekend, the Patrick Henry mobile home park is now closed. News 3 reporter Antoinette Dalbell has been following this story from the beginning and was back out there today. This is as far as airport police are letting us. They don't want anybody inside the park because they say mobile homes are being torn down and you can see one of the no trespassing signs behind my shoulder here. But I was able to drive down a few of the streets and it just looks like a ghost town. Doors were left wide open. You can see many belongings left behind. So many people left here Saturday, hopeless and with no place to go. An eerie quietness now lingers at Patrick Henry Mobile Home Park, a stark contrast to the life once filled here by nearly 80 families. It's been hard for me, my kids, everybody. I mean, the other families, everybody, it's, it's not right. The Newport News Park officially closed Saturday night. The announcement made in May, and tenants were given incentives over the several months to pack up and leave. But some families were left homeless. We caught up with some of them as they were leaving over the weekend. I don't know where we're going to go yet. The nearby airport, which owns the land, said they're shutting it down because they're not making any money on the property and need to fix the ongoing drainage issues. The United Way and other agencies Agencies have been helping tenants find other homes, but with skyrocketing inflation and rent and virtually no affordable housing right now, many tenants simply can't afford to move. Landlords have also increased the requirements to qualify for new housing. You're likely going to be required to make three times the rent instead of two times the rent. The United Way says some tenants went to a nearby homeless shelter that's now almost full as they figure out their next move. This is a small microcosm of what's happening all over the peninsula. Over at Seaview Lofts Apartments, a similar issue. But families there were only given hours to move out over the summer after the building wasn't up to code. That apartment complex is still closed. Individuals are losing their housing every day and the number of people being evicted or being priced out of their housing are skyrocketing. And for anybody in one of those dire situations, you can call the United Way or the Housing Crisis Hotline for help. We have that information up on our website. In Newport News, Antoinette Elbel, News 3.